Let me show you something real quick. How am I able to get 164 milliseconds on this when I used to get about 185, 190, maybe 175 average? The answer? 240 hertz. It actually does make a difference. I've seen a fair few people commenting on my lower reaction times in reviews. I haven't changed my training, diet, or anything like that. I just switched to a 240Hz monitor. At first, the BenQ Zowie XL2546, but now I'm on the XL2740. More on that later. First, after 21 years of playing Quake, I can tell you a few things. One is that I managed to top score on my team using a ball mouse. What does that mean? Well, getting the best equipment won't matter if you don't know how to play the game. So if you are going to upgrade, upgrade for the right reasons. If you are really good at the game already and you want to maximize your potential, then yes, get the best equipment you can, and try to reduce your latency wherever possible. Most top gaming mice will get you between 1 and 4 milliseconds now, but you should be playing on at least 144Hz monitors. If you're playing competitively for fun or actually trying to go pro, I would recommend getting a 240Hz monitor. It seems the hardware can affect the latency too, even at 120Hz on the Razer Blade Pro 2017, I was getting 220 millisecond averages. With a 144Hz monitor on a desktop PC, that would have been about 180 milliseconds. And compared to my setup now, that's 60 millisecond more. Combine that with a mouse that has 10 milliseconds latency, and well, you see the problem. The more latency you have on each, the harder it's going to be to play at your potential. Another tip, if you're playing a game that relies on sound, like hip beeps in Quake or Footsteps. I use wireless headphones because I don't care that much, but if you want to go pro, I suggest using a wired headset. The reason is that even on the ones advertised as latency free, still have latency. That's according to my testing anyway. It's generally about 15 millisecond. So get yourself a decent system, get a mouse from my top mice list on my website, or find one that has low latency, get a wired headset, and make sure you don't have extra processing or unnecessary software running. And of course, get the right monitor. And that brings us back to the XL2740. So this is a 27 inch monitor and I'm sitting about 75 centimeters away from the screen. So about arm's length. And I know a lot of people say 24 inches is the best. I don't know how close they're sitting, but I do prefer the bigger targets on screen. And I do like to just sit back, no eye strain, pretty comfortable in my chair. So I feel like this is gonna be better in the long run. I won't have any back issues. If they prefer 24 inch, regardless, I'm not even sure of the reasoning. I can't imagine why you'd want smaller enemies. It just makes sense to have bigger targets, easy to aim, right? This is a 1080p screen, so 27 inch 1080p. A lot of people will say the pixel density isn't as good, and they're right. But that said, it's not that bad either. So I've been playing on this for a fair while. I would prefer 1440, but an argument against that is if you're not playing these old games, you might struggle to get 240 frames and you really want to get up into those frame rates to take full advantage of the 240 hertz. And honestly, the more I use this, the more I get used to it. And the 1080p just doesn't actually bother me. It's good for text. It's actually nice to be able to read text easily. If I was going to go 1440p, I would go to 30 inch screens. So hopefully they release a 30 inch 240 hertz screen at some point. I will most likely be changing to, the, changing to that. So yeah, 27 inch, 1080p, 240Hz, it's actually a pretty solid combination. Especially when you combine it with the free sync option. So you just go down to system in the menu, over, information, free sync on, optimum resolution, 1080p, 240Hz. That's over display port, of course. This is my five monitor setup across two PCs. I tried to get them all BenQ, but I fell short. I'm using the BenQ X3501R with an old LG monitor for my editing PC. And for my main gaming rig, that's my old XL2730 up top, and the PD3200U on the right, which is a BenQ 32 inch 4K graphic design monitor. I'll get to that one in another video. And the one in the middle is the XL2740, and that's on an arm. The monitor has a standard visa mount option. It does come with a solid stand of course. Height adjustable, swivel, tilt, rotate, all that. These stands have always been solid. They don't feel like plastic junk like some others I've seen. Just all metal. The bevels on the monitor are quite large, but the attention to detail is good. 
Notice these areas next to the screen are angled toward the screen, or down away from the screen. That reduces reflection, so the only light you see is on the screen. I ran it through this profiler, and it seemed to do pretty well. There wasn't much I had to change, and the light levels are pretty much right. But we can go through my settings real quick if you want to see them. I generally don't use the headphone holders on the sides, I think it looks too tacky. Also they're loose and feel a bit cheap for some reason. The USB ports are also on the side, again it just seems tacky having things sticking out like that. Not a big fan, I wish they'd put them either underneath or on the back. It comes with these shields too, but I mean I don't care, do you? Apparently it's meant to stop you from being distracted, but I think they'd do better just stopping glare. The S switch is a way cooler feature. It makes navigating the menus much easier, and you can switch between three profiles quickly. Great for when you want to go from daytime to nighttime gaming, or even change it for watching movies. From a practical point of view, these monitors are some of the best. They're clearly aimed at competitive esports players, and good enough for me personally to use as my main for now. Had a lot of games on it, no complaints, it's been so much fun. I'm going to stick with it until a bigger 240Hz monitor comes out. I still miss my 32 inch monitors, they were so cool. But this one's still good, and it actually fits in my setup, so I'll probably have to stick with this size anyway. So, solid monitor, love playing on it, definitely worth a look if you're interested in a 27-inch 240Hz monitor. And remember to keep playing the game so you can actually get good at them. Don't just think you need to upgrade your equipment all the time. Once you get really good, then you can start upgrading. Or before then because hey, it's fun, I get it. I'm just saying don't stress about it either. There are most likely more ways you can lower your latency, so check the comments below, maybe someone has posted some ideas. But for now, I hope that gives you some insight. I'm 37 years old at the moment, and I'm not struggling with reaction time. So there's another tip, don't let your age become a factor. If you keep on making excuses and just saying you're too old for this, then you'll start to believe it and probably won't try as hard. Never give up, keep on fighting. I wouldn't say I'm anything special, and I'm getting some years on me, and I can still hit about 160 millisecond. In fact, on a good day, I can get it down to 150. Okay, back on topic. Big thanks to BenQ for sending this one out for me. It isn't a sponsored video, but they did send it out because I requested it. So it's just sent out for review, just like all the other products I have. Anyway, this is meant to be the end of the video. So use your links in the description if you want to help support what I do. And subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.